Hello, everyone, and I trust you're having a good day. As we step into the realm of self discovery, we confront a moment of profound revelation. The once enticing allure of the narcissist loses its luster, and our awakened consciousness converges with celestial signs, leaving us no choice but to acknowledge a stark truth narcissists are not just toxic, but venomous. They not only devalue our essence, but tarnish the very fabric of our reputation, a revelation that catalyzes a transformation of our being, physically, spiritually, and mentally. In this crucible of self-evolution, we undergo a profound metamorphosis, a process that strips away the yearning to reconnect with these manipulative charmers until it evaporates into the ether. The oft-commended path of no contact stands as our shield against their beguiling wiles, Yet at times, we encounter a juncture where the fiery allure of admiration no longer holds sway. Their tainted grasp falters, failing to hoover menacingly over us, daring us to seize control of our destiny. In such situations, confrontation could indeed be a viable solution. It is not about intentionally causing harm, but rather about shedding light on the stark reality. They need to understand that their deep-seated narcissism is reprehensible. You may choose to express this sentiment to them in words that resonate, such as, I'm no longer interested in your presence and the chaos that you embody. Frolic with your other victims. I'm indifferent to your existence and I'm moving on, or any other statement that strikes a chord. The sting of rejection alone is enough to bruise their fragile ego but injecting emotionally charged sentences can increase the impact. They must be awakened to the fact that holding onto their delusions is futile. This explains why they may retreat into extended periods of silence, pretending that there is still hope for a return. Find solace in the understanding that it is not their role to liberate you. That responsibility lies within your determination to sever ties. Embrace the intricate complexity of your journey. Revel in the moments of revelation and growth, for your path leads to a future far removed from their web of illusions. Should we collectively arrive at that definitive moment where we boldly assert ourselves with words, such as, Narcissist, never again shall you linger in the corridors of my life. Reconciliation is but an illusion forever beyond your grasp. You are forbidden from entering my private sanctuary or engaging in any intimate conversation with me. Then let that moment mark our parting of ways. Let your departing words evoke a kaleidoscope of emotions and insights, where personal experiences fade into the background, making room for a collective perspective. The wisdom gleaned from our encounters with narcissism guides us away from any inclination to reconnect with them. Still, with time, a peculiar kind of gratitude emerges for those who dared to break the cycle of silence. Words flow effortlessly, striking a delicate balance that neither harms nor excessively placates them. It is a masterful form of communication, weaving together a tapestry that incorporates past deceptions and future aspirations, allowing for the exploration of divergent paths. Yet, a lingering undercurrent of the unspoken truth prevails. That if things do not work out, it is for the best. Closure was already within our grasp, but the narcissist stubbornly denied us that right. Instead, they watched as silent observers from the shadows, invading our digital lives to catch an undesired glimpse into our private realms. The intricacies of their methods remain shrouded in mystery, whether through the use of shared email accounts or insidious programs surreptitiously implanted on our devices. Once the narcissist realizes that they will never regain entry into our lives, they may modify their tactics, attempting manipulation or intruding into our private spaces. Nevertheless, we must stand resolute, refusing to succumb to their manipulations, we must affirm our boundaries and firmly declare that their perilous behavior constitutes an insurmountable obstacle to any reconciliation. Their deceptive ways are now exposed, evident in their intrusive browsing through our dating profiles, symbolizing their constant surveillance like the eye of the Illuminati. 
Let this moment mark our declaration that severing ties with narcissistic individuals comes with a labyrinth of complications. Let us remain ever vigilant in safeguarding our boundaries, acutely aware of the pitfalls that lie in wait, and resolute in asserting our autonomy. Navigating the convoluted labyrinth of a narcissistic encounter becomes even more intricate when met with a calculated smear campaign orchestrated by these individuals. Despite their past transgressions, they audaciously attempt to execute the insidious Hoover maneuver. Yet, our resolve stands unwavering, having already rejected their advances. This critical juncture in our transformative journey signifies the realization that we no longer harbor any longing for their return. This realization, forged through months or even years of grappling with unresolved issues in their lingering absence, unveils the futility that once characterized our investment of time and energy. However, bolstered by an unwavering belief in a higher power, whether it be an omnipotent deity or the cosmic forces that govern our existence, we forge ahead. Regardless of our current position on the path to healing, a moment inevitably arrives when the allure of their presence dissipates into the ether. Each of us must reach that pivotal moment where the notion of the narcissist's return disintegrates, boundless and forgotten. This monumental shift in energy and dynamics reverberates through the vast expanse, eventually finding its way to their consciousness, triggering their desperate pursuit. Yet fear not, for we now hold the reins of control. In the rare event that we find ourselves compelled to engage with them, it becomes imperative to wield emotional restraint and adopt their own modus operandi. Reflecting back now, it becomes clear that my phone was subjected to an insidious hack and my digital feeds infiltrated, a chilling breach of my privacy. It is truly bewildering to realize that it dawned on me only when peculiar images appeared on my screen. My technological aptitude remains negligible, rendering the experience all the more baffling. The perpetrator behind this cyber intrusion must be a mastro of digital manipulation and trickery, a sorcerer wielding godlike prowess, exerting dominion over every facet of my technological existence. But I digress, let me reiterate the liberating power of the crucial decision to divest ourselves of any desire for the narcissist's presence in our lives. It is an act of self-care that nurtures our healing journey, fostering a profound love for ourselves. We hold the right to not only express our lack of need for the narcissist, but also to expel them entirely from our lives. We must articulate our displeasure and emotions with clarity and precision. Crafting the perfect words becomes an art form, shielded by our fortress of self-protection, effectively banishing them from our lives. This proclamation carries immense weight, notifying the narcissist that we have relinquished the role of accommodating their toxic presence and declared their harmful influence no longer tolerable. It is important to be aware that differing opinions may arise, as observed in comment sections where some may disagree. Narcissists are skilled at deflection and manipulation of words to suit their own interests. However, we must always express ourselves calmly and truthfully, making it clear that we have no interest in reconciling with the narcissist. If they discarded us, it is essential to assert that we were the ones who were ultimately pushed away. In the face of their attempts to hoover us back into their lives, we must remain resolute in our rejection, cutting off all contact and severing ties completely. It is crucial to remember that the actions of rejection, pushing, or harm enacted by the narcissist were never genuine. They were solely driven by their insatiable hunger for any form of energy, whether negative or positive. It is within our power to reject them and reclaim control over our own lives. If children are involved, utilizing the gray rock method can be effective in communication. Emphasizing that conversations should solely focus on the well-being of the children and avoiding discussions on other matters. Refuse any attempts from the narcissist to get emotionally charged responses or fall for their clandestine hoover maneuvers. Maintain distance, 
and make it clear that you have no intention of engaging in conversations unless they pertain to the children. This approach can have a profound impact, serving as a reflective mirror for their actions and allowing them to comprehend the pain and suffering they have inflicted upon us. It stands as a significant step towards our healing. Let us discuss Hoover attempts, as they can catch us off guard despite our knowledge of their existence. They can be sudden and debilitating, necessitating constant vigilance. You might have already experienced your own encounter with a Hoover, and if you did not respond, it likely dealt a severe narcissistic injury to them. That is why I encourage you to consistently rebuff their attempts. Together, we can inflict the most potent narcissistic injury, leaving them to wallow in their disordered realm, seeking new sources of narcissistic supply. Pardon my frankness, but we should allow them to revel in their chaotic world if that is what they choose for the rest of their existence. The crucial point is to assert that under no circumstances should they contact us again. This action is the most effective and liberating step we can take in prioritizing our self-care and healing. When the narcissist realizes they cannot reclaim us, it is a lightning bolt to their fragile ego. They persistently pursue us, desperate to regain their former position of adoration in our eyes. However, this moment marks a pivotal turning point in our healing journey, delivering a profound narcissistic injury that cuts deep into their fragile essence. As empaths, we may not fully comprehend the wounds we have unintentionally inflicted along our intricate path of life. It is a complex subject that warrants further exploration, perhaps in a future video. We are sincerely grateful to have you here with us today, and we deeply appreciate your support. Words cannot adequately express our gratitude. If you have not done so already, we kindly request that you subscribe to our channel and show your love. Stay tuned for more captivating videos. Thank you.